Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, you guys. We're eating spring rolls today. Yay! <laughs> Let's start, Mom. We're okay. so hungry, okay. you guys. Like, so hungry. Incredibly hungry. We have, uh, while Michelle does that, we have cucumbers, bean sprouts, shrimp, and then we have lettuce, um, fish mint, and cilantro, and then I made my green cilantro sauce with garlic. And to drink today, I have a poppy dock pop and some ice. Nice. Are you so excited? I am. Me too. Here's your first one. Thanks, mother. They're stuck. They are? Yeah. I don't know. <sighs> don't mind me. She never wants to put it in the middle so we can all dip. No, because it gets, it gets in the way. Okay, well, I'll start prepping the spring rolls. There you go. Thanks, Mom. Mm -hmm. You guys, it's been stormy the last two days. Two, like, full days, though. Maybe Is it two and a half. Today's the last day, right? Yeah. The rain wasn't too bad in our area. No? I know San Diego is like oh, flooding right now, which makes LA me so is sad. Too. Oh yeah, I heard LA was crazy too. LA is pretty bad. Yeah, ours isn't bad, just normal rain. Um I mean driving was crazy. Did it um ever like stop for you guys? Yeah, it would like come and go, come and go. Oh no way. Yeah. We never stopped. It was kind of nice. I actually really like rain. So, like the other day I was at your house and I died. Oh, I know. I love rain too. Clemmy just ruined it for me. Oh, Clemmy didn't like it? Because Clemmy hates rain. I think having a dog and like not a like big backyard to be able to let my dog free is very un uncomfortable. Yeah, we have the little um, California room thing. Oh, yeah. So they just, I just let them pee inside and I'll, I'll like wash it. Oh, nice. Yeah, because Casper was not having it either. Oh, yeah, Casper does not like it. He doesn't like getting his like paws wet and stuff. Yeah, that's true. Mm, he's like a mini club. Yeah, bean sprouts, mother. Yes. Thanks, mom. How much would you like? That's good. Okay. Thanks, Do you need cukes? Yeah, I'll have some cukes. Here, have some cukes. Thanks, Mom. Oh my god. Y'all, Michelle and I have been so into this current season of The Bachelor. <laughs> we have. Joey is so dreamy. That's what I said earlier, too. Oh my He's god. so dreamy. He um, yeah, we're watching it tonight. We're so excited. We are Team Daisy. Yes, we want our girl Daisy to win. She's the one with the cochlear. Uh, yeah. Implant. Uh, for her hearing. Who's a runner-up for you? I don't think I have one. I think my, <laughs> I think my heart is set on Daisy, and it's either this season's either gonna break my heart or I'm gonna celebrate at the end. Do you have someone you don't like then? Right now, I'm not loving that girl that started drama. The one was like, well, Medina's my girl and I heard Oh, you, you don't like the blonde one. Yeah, I'm like, You girl. like Maria. Who's Maria? Maria is that. Oh, I like her. You don't like her, huh? I, she's growing on me. I like her. I didn't like her, but she's growing on me. I really enjoy her. I think that she... I really admire that she's just herself mm -hmm. and she just doesn't give a shit. The way I saw her handle that whole yeah. situation, that's when I was like, okay, I really do like you. Yeah, she was like, this is like stupid drama. Yeah. Like, let's not, you know, I'm really excited for tonight's episode. I am too. Got excited. Well, shit, girl. Not really. What did you put in there? Not really excited. Oh my God. What? Dude, I be drooling, man. Do you ever drool because food is so good? Yeah. It's like Casper and Cheetos. 
Oh my gosh, fast friend Cheetos. Bon appetitis, friends. Bon appetitis. Is it it? I hear you're chewing. And this time, I don't have a sore in my mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Is it good, Mom? Mm-hmm. Did I make it okay? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The lemon was juicy, huh? Mm -hmm. Too much lemon? I didn't even do half. I did a quarter lemon. It tastes good though. I don't mind too lemony. I think you got it. Mm. too big friends so she's going in it's because she couldn't eat it mm -hmm. the last time mm. <coughs> I enabled all the <coughs> excuse me okay. yeah yeah last time I had the thing in my mouth oh that was bad I felt so bad for her, she couldn't eat properly. She was trying to chew on one side. Was that after you had bitten your other side the, like a few days before? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. It was bad. It was really bad. We ran out of circles, we're moving on to squares. Oh shit. I have to go to the store? I guess so. Mmm. Jeez. What happened, Mom? What what is happening right now? What is going on? I'm just so mad. It was so good. I'm so happy for you. Oh, gracias, Mom. Mm hmm You're the best. You're the best. No, you're the best. No, you're the best. No, no, you're the best. You're the best. Eat up, Mom. Okay, okay, <laughs> yeah, I'm working on it. Eat all the greens, mom. Greens, good for you. Back to the Joey being a bachelor. I think it was you who said, like, you had read somewhere that Joey's season is going to be, like, the, like, brings back Bachelor Nation and stuff. Like, the comeback? I agree with that. Because I think it's good. Everyone's talking about it. He's dreamy. Yeah, because I feel like no one really talked about the last few seasons. Well, me and you weren't even aware that we skipped six seasons. Like, it was a lot, Mom. But that's the thing. I hadn't heard of them. No one was talking about no them, No one Mom. was talking about them. Have you been doing three? Yes. Okay, good. I thought I was, like, the only one. Uh, me too. Yeah, well, I really like his season. I do, too. You guys should watch it. Hulu. 
And if you got T-Mobile, T-Mobile um, has Hulu and Netflix a part of your plan now or something. No way. Excuse my reach, mom. I have to just. Yeah, you got a lot, girl. That's okay. You got okay. a lot. That's okay. That's all I need. Oh. Mom, that's. No, no, I got it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so sad. I'm so hungry. I do not care about how this looks. You guys, we just got a Dutch Bros coffee by us. Do y'all know if it's good? I'm taking Michelle next weekend for- Can you leave recommendations? Yeah, we're gonna go to Dutch Bros next weekend for Valentine's Day. <gasps> You're hard. Why are you so- Get the fuck out there. <laughs> yeah, thank you for being there. So romantic. Wow, I'm so excited. Well, this weekend we're going to Fogo de Chao. Which I'm very excited Maybe for. Maybe that should be our Valentine's dinner. That'll be our Valentine's dinner. Yeah. Yeah, girl. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Get it, girl. Are you still into making your coffee? Hmm. I oh haven't God. made it. In a little bit. Yeah. I feel like you just haven't been drinking a lot of coffee. I've been, um, my husband, my husband's, my husband's been having gallbladder uh, issues. So watching him eat healthy has made me <laughs> somewhat eat healthy. I mean, yesterday I did have, um, you guys, Kim doesn't ramen. even eat unhealthy though. I really don't. I don't even know why I'm fat. I think it's the lack of exercise and the sugar drinks, so I gotta cut them that down. My God! <laughs> I just meant she eats so like much vegetables yeah. and fruits and just all of that. So I don't. I don't know. I think the reason I'm fat. We do not use that word. Oh, just like overweight. That's a medical term, overweight. <laughs> Okay. Hey, it's good to like know your problems, you know? I do too. I think there's no reason you gotta just blurt them out. I think for a while I was like in denial. Were you really? Like, not in denial, but I just like didn't really care to look into it. Yeah, my mom didn't let me be in denial. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm like, okay, these are my problem issues that I have that I'm changing. Eating late. Eating late is bad. Do you eat late often? Oh yeah, mom. Sometimes I'll eat at like one in the morning because I'm hungry. Okay, but I will say that's also because you have a weird. The world's weirdest sleeping schedule. Hmm. So it makes sense to me to eat dinner at 1 a.m. because she doesn't sleep until like 5, 4, but 5 a.m. One overall better schedule. Yes. I agree with that. Lately I've been cutting off eating at 7. Mm -hmm. Good time. Yeah, 7. Mm -hmm. Um... Making better choices. Mm -hmm. um, still eating things I like, but having like balance and moderation. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. That's all it's about. Having a balance. This is so good. I'm so <laughs> sorry. I'm like smacking my ass off. I'm so scared about getting a freaking piece of pepper. I gave them all to you. <laughs> Rude. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I love greens. You guys, guess what we're eating again this weekend? We're eating Nope's Kitchen. <laughs> it was good though, last time we had it. I'm so excited to eat it. It was so good. You think it'll taste better at home? Maybe? You guys, Nope's Kitchen was so good. Mm-hmm.
The sauce is good today, Mom. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. It's so good. Good job, Mom. Mmm. I'm excited for Lunar New Year's. I wonder what we're eating. I hope everything. And we got the birthday on Sunday. I know. What are we doing for that? I have no idea. Should I go get some crab? Ooh. I think they would like that. I can get some crab. I knew what you were gonna do. I'm excited that my mom and I wanted to do it too. <laughs> I'm excited for my mom to see the cake I got her. I'm excited too. I know. Oh my god, you need to make sure to get her expression. I know. I'm gonna vlog it. I'm surprising my mom with a cake. We're having a birthday party this week. Hey, why do I get your mom? I know. I was gonna text you the other day. Um. So we could brainstorm things she needs around the house. Like that, sorry, that one year you got her tongs. Tongs and like big uh, baking pans. Yeah, because my mom like doesn't have tongs. I know. I'm sh um. What should we get her? Oh, do you want to, do you want to split a, the Tatcha moisturizer? Sure. We can do that. Oh, what? Right. I already got her the cake. Okay. I can split the Tatcha moisturizer with you. Sure. That'll be easy. She'll be happy. Good. She's all about skincare. <laughs> but obviously we all know Tatcha is a freaking arm and a leg. Oh, I know. I don't even know if she still has... I think she's still working on the last one I gave her. Well, after what you told her, she's probably working real slow. <laughs> She asked me how much it was. I wasn't going to lie to her. You should have just said, I don't know. I got it. <laughs> you're, usually, you're usually good at saying, I don't know. Oh, you did buy it. That's true. She's going to be like, how did you buy it without knowing? Hey, I kind of like the squares, mom. Yeah? I folded in my squares. You like it more? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Who are we rooting for for the Super Bowl? Um, we are rooting for the Eagles. Okay. Mm, but they're not there, so we're rooting for the Chiefs. Oh, we are. Yes. Oh, okay. Not by, not not because I made the choice. I'm just following in my husband's footsteps. I'm just following her footsteps. I do not know anything about football. Neither do I. Do you want another one? Oh yes, please. I heard the Super Bowl tickets are ridiculous. Ridiculous. Cause is it because it's in Vegas, Mom? That could be one, but it's just because it's the damn Super Bowl. <clears throat> But I heard this Super Bowl this year is like ridiculous. It's more than other years. Really? Mm hmm Maybe it is because it's in Vegas. It is that new... Like, two million dollars for a suite. Ridiculous. Well, didn't Taylor pay that? That's what I heard. I don't doubt it. She has lots of money. Where else is she gonna spend it other than being there for her boyfriend? Wait, can she even be there? Mm-hmm. Okay. All the Swifties did the math. Oh, they did? Mm-hmm. Glad. That she worked will, out. She will sleep on the plane. Uh-huh. And arrive before the Super Bowl begins. 
I think the Chiefs are going to win. You think so? Mm -hmm. Who are they going against again? 49ers? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know anything about either. So, here you go. Thanks, Mom. Why are they shaped like that? I don't know. I put them against each other so that you have a bigger surface. Oh, thanks, Mom. Yeah, I appreciate that. This sounds like Illuminati pin. Oh, shoot. It wasn't supposed to be. <laughs> oh. Mm. Just think about it, you know, logically. Mm. Was it in your way? No, you're good. I thought you. Okay, whatever. Eat it, Mom. <clears throat> oh, honey. I eat. I never forget to eat. Don't worry about <laughs> that. I am so excited for Lunar Year New Year's with your mm. family. I'm excited for the fireworks, oh my the God, firecrackers. Me too. me too, Mom. I'm so excited to watch it from across the street. I know. I am not going to be a part of that illegal activity. Is it illegal? It's not illegal, Mom. I think it's illegal in, in neighborhoods. No way. Mm -hmm. No, it's like... I thought the ones that go with the air are illegal. I don't think so. Oh, really? Yeah, you should be fine. It's not illegal. Okay. If anybody calls the cops, I will literally go ape shit on them and be like, are you being racist right now? I'll be like, you racist? Yeah. It's Lunar New Year's. You freaking weirdos. No. She'll be fine. Who's she? Oh, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> if the police come and they're like, was someone blowing fireworks? We all point to my brother. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Going to Kim Sung. <laughs> Kim Sung did it. Oh my god, Nope's Kitchen and um, Box Kit. Mom, we had such a good food mm -hmm. weekend this past weekend. Michelle took me to this restaurant in Found Valley called Box Kitchen, you guys, and that shit was fire. Mm -hmm. I didn't film it there because uh, we were there celebrating my niece's birthday. But it's also, also really loud. Yeah, it was incredibly loud. It would be really hard to film in there. I know. We met some subscribers at the front. Oh, yeah. That was fun. They're really good. They're part of the whole key concept. Concepts. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Why? What happened? I'm so excited. <clears throat> Hello. Huh? What well, we always do, sister. Mm. Gotta mix it up. Mm -hmm. It's because you don't want to answer. Mm -hmm. Loser. The question, the wrong, the situation is, we put the questions we already answered back in here in. What weird thing would you make socially acceptable if you could? We already answered that. We did? No. See? Why is this up there? Already answered that. group is the most likely to yell at the ref in a little league game oh, over there her husband uh, my husband who in this group is the most likely to make it through oh, what happened you <laughs> is most likely to make it through a zombie apocalypse my husband Maiden and Carlos mm -hmm. who in this group is the most likely to own an illegal business None of us. None of us. We have too much anxiety. <laughs> Who in this group is most likely to die first in a horror movie? Me. And here's the thing. I will die because I put myself in front of them. I said, just do it. I don't want to run. I don't want to run. I'm not going to run. And she will be like, do it quick. Uh-huh. Sanitary. Uh-huh. And, and easy. Yes. No pain. Do it right now. No. No pain. Don't jump out of me. I'm not... When you come around the corner, you better count, and I will scream, and I will act like I was scared. But I don't want to be really scared. None she of that. She'd be the first. Mm-hmm. No. This is good. Yeah. 
Mm. If you had to choose a new name for yourself, what would it be? Did you ever, when you were younger, like think of a name that you wanted? Well, I know Kimberly was one. I was on the phone with um, Carlos's healthcare yesterday. Okay. And she kept calling me Kimberly, and I was like, "Ma'am, I." T <laughs> I was like, "Ma'am, I said my name was Kim, <laughs> not Kimberly." <laughs> and she was like, "Kimberly, can you hang?" I'm like, "I'm not Kimberly." <laughs> Do you really? Yeah. Do you look like a Jennifer? No. No? A Jennifer. Jenny. You look like a Jenny, but not a Jennifer. Well, that's the legal name, baby. <laughs> On the streets, you call me Jenny. <laughs> and that's the end of that. <laughs> Jenny. Okay, yeah, Jenny. You look like a Chloe. I look like a Chloe? Yeah, I, you could go for Chloe. I always wanted the name Stephanie. No! When I was younger. Mm. No, when I was younger, because mm. I hated Michelle. I love Michelle. Because every every Michelle I saw, I would think that they're ugly, and the only Michelle I thought was pretty was Michelle Kwan. Quang? Kwan. Kwan, the figure skater. Mm-hmm. Michelle Kwan's pretty. I, I agree. But see, she wasn't until, Michelle like, Obama? My older, my older. Mm. I remember, distinctively, I was at Lowe's or Home Goods. Oh, God, this I is I mean, not Home Goods. Right? Yeah, Home Depot. And I was like, in my little elementary school phase, and this girl turned around, I'm so sorry, but this girl turned around, and her name was Michelle, and, oh no, the garlic with the soda. Yeah, sorry, mom. We'll look off. She turned around, and she was ugly. Mom! <laughs> I'm sorry. But in my fifth grade eyes, I was like, ugh. Every Michelle I've seen is so ugly. It was like my own self-esteem. I was like, I'm ugly. Every Michelle on this whole planet is ugly. I can't find, I thought that like, if I found a pretty Michelle, it would dictate like, mm. I'm pretty too, because I'm a Michelle. So I always want to be Stephanie. I love your name. Michelle? Mm-hmm. That's pretty. Thank you. I like signing your name too. I know, you like the M. I love the M. I hate I it. like the K though. I hate the K. I like the R and you won't like the R. <laughs> I just want you guys to know that when I was practicing my signature, because I added my husband's last name onto my name, <laughs> his last name is Ramos. And because my R's are so fucking hideous in cursive, <laughs> I spell Amos. A M O S. I am dropping the R in my signature. Don't you guys think the R is really pretty? My R's are hideous. And R is so pretty, Mom. My R is so ugly, oh and my, my K's are hideous. You want one more? So yeah, Excuse I'll have me. one more. Double wrapped? Single wrap. Single wrap? No, double, actually. I want to chew gum. Okay. <laughs> no, you don't like it? You like double wrap? <laughs> it didn't help last time? Okay, sorry. Thanks, Mom. Okay, now we must find another question. <laughs> yeah, give it to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. I haven't had soda all week, and I know this is poppy. Do you feel bad? It tastes too sugary. How dare your husband get hurt? <laughs> and now we have to live a healthy I did, week. <laughs> I did have like a little bit of cherry limeade from Poppy last night with my cherry magnesium. Mm -hmm. I was going to call it uh, Mimos. <laughs> um, that was good. Good. Oh, cherry tart is so good. Cherry tart is really good. I agree. What was one of the funniest arguments that you've been in? We, I answered that one already. The yeah. Betty Wap being blind in oh. one eye. <laughs> What's the best way you or someone you you know has gotten out of trouble? The best way to get out of trouble? Yeah. Oh, Michelle and I will straight up start making stories out of our ass. <laughs> like our great grandmother, she has like um, a rock stuffed in her liver. It sometimes just goes wrong because we get extremely anxious and we are not great liars. So you're a better liar than I am. I'll start laughing. If she walks away mid-conversation, she's most likely. 
la, 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 la. I'm done. What would be the first few things you would try if you found out you could never be injured? We, we did answer that too. We are so bad. We should have put the answered one away. I know. Who was your most interesting teacher, good or bad? Do you have a bad one? Mm -mm. Oh my gosh. Our, my most interesting teacher was Olga. Helga? Which one? OCC? Yeah. Why? Oh, thanks mom. Oh, she was the one that no. thought I had a belly button fetish. So at the beginning of this lovely <laughs> sex hey. ed class, is it sex ed? Hey, we never told you this story. We're gonna we tell never? you. We've never told you this story. No way. We're gonna tell you a story that's new. Stay, 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 stay. Okay, so Kim and I have only taken a handful of classes together because by the time that we had met, mm -hmm. you switched out of the major. Mm -hmm. And so she was kind of in a different route, had done a lot of the classes that I've already, like, we're going to do and all of that. But we did have to take a, what is it, physical sexual sexuality? Yeah. What is it called? General sexuality? Ge um, a sex ed. Sex ed? Yeah. Anyways, our professor, I loved our professor, but she was a little weird. She was interesting. She was a little weird. So it wasn't good or bad, but... Every start of the class, okay, no, what? No, okay, so at the end of the class, you got to write a question about like sexuality, anything related to sexuality, body, and just anything. And this is like a sex ed, you guys. So we're talking about like blowjobs, we're talking about oh, like everything. We, there is no filter in this class. Like we're the Legibit de Quad, the whole community, we're everything. talking all about that, all about. Um, they, they brought in a prostitute for a presentation. Yes, yes. Like, this class was, like, one of the best classes at yes. OCC. There was also a, speakers who had, like, interesting fetishes. Uh-huh. Remember? The one with the real the daddy and the... Oh! That situation. She also brought in porn stars. Porn stars. Um, Cross-dressers. Mm-hmm. Uh, just all sorts of... She had so many connections. It was... An amazing class it was. So you got to write a little postcard and question. You don't have to do it if you don't have a question, but you can put it in a box. And at the at the start of the next class, you want another one? Uh, at the, okay. At the start of the next class, she would start with that. She would bring out the the cards and she would go through the questions. Kim, stop! <laughs> I don't know which one to tell. Was mine first when you asked for me? <laughs> I totally forgot you're telling your story too. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Can I just tell mine first? Because I'm so mortified right now. No! Okay, fine. First of all, they're not even both my story. None of them are my story. It's your story because you asked that question. That wasn't me. I did not ask a question. I asked it for you? Yeah. Because then, don't you remember, Mom? You didn't even tell me until after. <laughs> I don't remember that. Wait, no, you did tell me before. Okay, That's okay. Why when she answered the question, I was mortified. Okay, so what was the question that I asked for you? I was a virgin at the time. At the time. At the time. So this was a long time ago. But yeah, we were 20 years old. Yeah, it was very young, you guys. I'm 30. Yeah, like, we're talking a lot. Wow. It was 10 years ago. It was ago. a very like, long time ago. At the time. So then, what my dilemma was, you guys, is I was a good Christian gal, okay, growing up. She goes ahead and asks the question on my behalf. Not really, actually. She goes... Everything's anonymous, by the way. She, yeah, anonymous. We have no idea who it's coming from, but she told me right before we sat down. And she goes, hey, I asked a question. And I was like, okay. And she's like, it's about you. And I was like, what the fuck? And she goes, I asked... My friend... I don't know. Wants to lose her virginity, but she doesn't know if she wants to at the same time. Or something along the lines of that, okay? Uh-huh. Professor gets to the question. She asks the question out loud, and I look at Kim because I'm mortified. And I'm no like, one knew it was you. you no, know, nobody knew, obviously, but I know, and she knows. And literally, I kid you not, you guys. Ready? This is how she answered it. <clears throat> no, 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 no. 
Well, sounds like she has problems. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? So then she dies, and then I die, but we're nowhere near each other, you guys. This is a huge, like, we were in a, we were in a lecture hall. Yeah, like the big lecture hall with like 500 students. Yeah, we were in that. And she was sitting all the way in the corner, and I was all the way up in the middle. You guys, our professor was not like the ones where it's like, oh, well, you know, no. if you no. feel like you need to talk to someone, no. like, she no. wasn't soft spoken. She was like, get your shit together. No, yeah. So then, do you want to take over for your question? Okay, so listen. My. Oh my God, I think you asked them both at the same time. Yeah, I think you and I got mortified together. Sorry, continue. Okay, so my question was. <laughs> You're okay, so listen. Much, hers is so much better. Listen, y'all, I was 20 years old, okay? Like, I was sexually experimenting and understanding my body, okay? Uh huh. So, my question to Professor. Professor. Professor! <laughs> No, mom, and you're not eating this. Yes, I am. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I have not seen the video. I haven't, so, I haven't either. I haven't so, either. unless you have a direct <laughs> aid for me, thank you. Um, my question to Professor um, Helga. Oga? Oge? Olga Helga? Olga? What was her name? Okay, whatever. Professor. Yeah. She was happily married. Yes, she was married. She was talking really about nice. her sex life with her husband all the time. Oh my god, I do not need to know any mm -hmm. of that. I was 20 years old. I just want to emphasize that. Yes. This was 10 years ago. Don't embarrass me. Ah, I'm mortified. So I asked Professor, I said, <laughs> I said, you know, sometimes. <laughs> Why can't I finish them? I said, sometimes. What? <laughs> Yeah, that's not today. 
<sighs> Maybe like two more mukbangs or something. I don't know, man. I'm trying to go through all the questions so that we know which ones are good and bad. No. No. So chewy. No. <laughs> it sounds like you're eating cartilage. <laughs> <laughs> What celebrate? What celebrity mm -hmm. is overrated? Overrated? Like, who cares? <laughs> we don't really follow celebs. No, not really. Yeah. I also feel like I don't, we don't follow them hardcore enough to be like, oh, you're so overrated. Like, I just don't care. Yeah, we don't, we don't care. really, yeah. Like, just do what you have to do. Mm hmm. When was the closest you've ever come to dying? When I ate an edible. On Friday, June 30th at 6 o'clock. No, June 29th at 6 o'clock. I was going to say, I don't think it was a Thursday. Sorry, Friday, June 29th at 6 o'clock. <clears throat> yeah, at 7 o'clock it hit me. What's the most out of character thing you've ever done? Um, Breaking the locker at junior year of high school. Keep in mind, that was like, you know, 14 years ago. That was a long time ago. I don't think we have any more questions. We though. answered all this? <laughs> I just can't. Would you consider yourself a good judge of character? Have you ever gotten someone completely wrong? Um, no. Yeah, me neither. Oh my god, I will say like, we're so intuitive. Like, some of you guys will agree with yourselves like don't you guys agree like some of us we just know when someone's fucked up i'm just sitting here waiting for y'all to see it mm -hmm. like i just get a good feeling yep so i already answered this one what is the funniest thing you have done to impress someone i'm not funny i don't do things for people what <laughs> what is the biggest lie you've ever told <clears throat> uh well then it wouldn't be a lie Okay. What's, <laughs> what's the longest you've gone without sleep and why? Um, I don't think I've ever made it to 24 hours. Have I? I think you have. Oh, really? Yeah. Probably because I, I was have. stressed. I'm pretty sure we stayed up 24 hours to study for finals. Oh, my God. Yeah. You guys, college sucks. Are you like, bless me? your hearts if you're in college right now. <laughs> that was horrible. We used to... um. We but I promise see, you it's not that much better outside of college either. I just I've seen so many people like go to college and then like be pressured by family or their surroundings and then you end up paying all of this money for a major that you don't love and it's like sometimes it's good to take a step back and be like okay like what do what makes me happy what do mm -hmm. I want to do. Mm -hmm. But I I think college is great. I believe in going to college, but I also believe that it's not for everyone. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think it's such a personal thing, but I think it's good to just like, sometimes, you know, when you're 18, you need to take a step back and really talk to people that have your best interests. Because mm -hmm. what's the point of going to college for four years and you're not going to use your bachelor's degree mm -hmm. and now you have loans to pay back? Mm -hmm. 
I wish there was like a, a middleman, like something to do in between high school and college to kind of find out what you're good at or what you like. Or I wish maybe in like senior year in high school, schools would take more initiative on helping kids with that. Yeah. Because I just feel like <clears throat> it's really hard to get a grasp of reality once you're outside of high school. You know what we do? Hmm. If like junior year, junior and senior year of high school, there are like classes that you can take to see what you're good at. And then you can focus on that area for like the next two years. Then kids can have a better understanding of what they're good at. Yeah. Because when you go through four years of high school and you're just doing algebra and, and learning about history, English, it's like those things don't really help me figure out like, yeah, in a way, you know, <clears throat> like I don't understand why learning I, and I do at the same time. I'm just saying maybe there needs to be like a combination of it where there's like they're taught the history, but at the same time given a chance to kind of blossom in their future. Yeah. I don't know. I, just... I, I also think that like there are diff there are certain professions that do require you go to go to college. Like if you get out of high school and you know, I want to be a registered nurse, mm -hmm. like boom, you already know what you got to do. Yeah. You got to go to your, you got to go get your bachelor's mm -hmm. and then you're going to go to your nursing schools mm -hmm. and you're going to become a registered nurse. Mm -hmm. But then there are other people that, you know, might just need a year off and figure out what they want to do. Maybe like once they travel, if they can, yeah. um, or maybe they need <clears throat> to take that first year off to work and figure out, or maybe yeah. do interns or I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but... Well, whatever route you're on, it doesn't matter because it's your journey. So don't that's be true. pressured by other people. That's very true. Um, and com don't compare yourself to other people because that's something that really does hurt you in the end. And we definitely have learned that the whole hard way. Mm -hmm. But anyways, thanks so much for hanging out with us, you guys. Um, we're probably going to go to Home Goods. I love Home Goods. I know, we do. I want to look at Valentine's Day stuff. Okay. We love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to Michelle's channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my vlog channel. Leave a comment down below. Like this video. Um, I'm going to see you guys again before Lunar New Year. So we'll talk then.